Liquid crystal displays, more commonly known as LCDs, are used in many hardware products, such as calculators, tablet computers like Apple's iPad, and computer monitors. To understand the basic structure of LCDs, it is advisable to look inside a monitor that uses a liquid crystal display. The backlight is generated at the bottom of the computer monitor. The light spreads out evenly by means of an element that consists of several layers. The secret, however, is the glass panel that will be installed on top of it. This panel is composed of various layers. First of all, there are two polarization filters that are oriented at a 90 degree angle to each other. The upper polarization filter polarizes the unpolarized light. It creates polarized light with only one polarization plane. The lower polarization filter blocks out the light because the filter is rotated by 90 degrees. The polarized light must rotate by 90 degrees in order to pass through the lower polarization filter. This will be accomplished by a liquid crystal. LCD monitors use twisted pneumatic liquid crystal materials. The molecules of twisted pneumatic liquid crystals are twisted by almost 90 degrees. Alignment layers are placed on top and bottom of the liquid crystal that precisely twist the molecules by 90 degrees. Consequently, the polarization plane is rotated and the light will pass through the lower polarization filter. Glass panels are coated with transparent electrodes, which allows adjusting the polarization plane and, consequently, the light's intensity. In proportion to the voltage applied, the molecules of the liquid crystal untwist, so that the polarization plane is not changed and the light's path is blocked by the filter. A color filter on top of the whole component is used to create colored light. Two other elements are needed to create a wide range of different colors. Voltages are applied to these elements to adjust the light intensity and consequently the color intensity. That way, red, green and blue light is added together in various ways to produce a broad array of colors. The elements are called subpixels. Each single pixel of a display unit is composed of these three subpixels. The subpixels appear as a single color to the human eye because they are very tiny. There are typically millions of these subpixels on an LC display. And that's how an LCD monitor works.